Good morning, everybody. It is one fantastic morning. I am so invigorated. It's 60 degrees out. The, the sky is totally blue. It's sunny. Great day for a test. Are you ready? Our test focuses on this Sunday's gospel lesson that's coming up in which Jesus is with his disciples in Caesarea Philippi, a stronghold of the Roman Empire, and they are discussing a very important topic. In fact, Jesus throws a question out at them, and that question is, who, who do you say that I am? Who do you say that I am? And of course, the response is, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Well, here's the test. Who is the one that gave that response? This is an easy one. I know you'll get it. So here's your answers. The one who gave that response, you are the Christ, the son of the living God, is A, John, B, Peter, C, Paul, D, that new rising group called Peter, Paul, and Mary. There you go. Is it John, Peter, Paul, or Peter, Paul, and Mary? Good luck. Time is up. Of course, we all know the answer. It is Peter. Peter is the one who gave that answer. Ah, oh, but that, you know, that was so easy. I have to give you another test. Just before Jesus turned to his disciples and said, who do you say that I am? He first asked, who do people say that I am? What's everybody else saying about me? Well, they gave an answer with a string of prophets. They think you're this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Which of these does not belong to that answer? Are you ready? The one that does not belong is A, John the baptizer, come back to life. B, Elijah. C, Jeremiah. D, Obadiah. Which one does not belong? A, John the Baptizer, B, Elijah, C, Jeremiah, D, Obadiah. Hmm, a little tougher, isn't it? Dun, dun, dun. The correct answer to that is Obadiah. No, the answer is that the, the disciples said, hey, this is what people, who people think you are. Ranged all the way from John the Baptizer, come back to life, to Elijah, who went up in that whirlwind. Remember that little tornado? God kind of took him up into the air. Uh, also Jeremiah, but not Obadiah, not Obadiah. It could have been, could have been actually, because there's a little wiggle room there because the last answer was Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. So it could have been, we just don't know. The whole point is all this is, is important because it, it talks about identity, identity. I mean, when they people were thinking of Jesus in terms of being one of the prophets, that means they closely associated him and his message with that of the prophets. He was in unity with them. He was talking about God's love, God's grace, God's forgiveness, but also judgment as well. You know, if you don't shape up, you don't do what I've called you to do, Bad things are just going to happen to you. But also in the midst of all the bad things, those prophets constantly said, God's love is still here for you. God doesn't give up on his promises. He never gives up on you. So you have that part of identity. But also when he turned to his disciples and said, now, now what about you guys? Who do you say I am? There... That's where there's a, a turning point in the Gospels. When they say, when Peter's the one who shouts out. Peter, he's always the one that puts his foot in his mouth, this, that, and the other. Because, well, he's the one that gives the correct answer. You are the Christ, 
the Messiah, the Anointed One. Son of the Living God. Son of the Living God. Wow. Now, you, you put all that together, okay? Put all that together, you have a realization that in Jesus, there's something new going on, something different, even something different from these prophets. Identity. Identity. In fact, Peter's given a new identity because he wasn't called Peter up to this point. He was called Simon. Simon the Fisherman. Now he's Peter the Rock. Stay tuned. Come this Sunday. We'll talk about that. But it's important to know that Jesus, when he turned to his disciples, he was very, very explicit in his his question he said who do you hey you you who do you say that i am in the greek that just bounces right off the page and some of our english translations tend to lose that who do you it's as if he's turning to you and to me right now and saying it right to our face and perhaps he is because that's a question we have to answer as well. Who do we say Jesus is? What does he mean to us in our lives? And how is our identity tied up in who we identify him with? Good things to think about all this week. Good things to think about all the time. Go out and have a great day. It's super fantastic. And I know they said there might be a pop-up shower here or there, but for right now, I'm going to revel in all these blue, blue skies. Blessings be with you. As you might see, I have a whole bunch of people waiting for me to feed them. I better get to it. Blessings be with you.